If you haven't adjusted your motorcycle to suit your height and body shape, you're sacrificing comfort and missing out on better, more intuitive control of your bike. Every motorcycle can easily be tweaked to fit you better. And best of all, it's free. So if you ride street, this is the video for you. But if you primarily ride off-road, we've got a separate video for that since it's an entirely different riding style. So let's get to it and open up the shop manual. Your hands and feet are the contact points for controlling your motorcycle. So it's important that your levers, handlebar, and pedals are positioned for easy operation and general comfort. The most effective and frankly the easiest place to start adjusting your motorcycle is with the handlebar levers. I see a lot of people riding with what I would call flat clutch and brake lever. They're angled too high, so you have to tilt your fingers up to reach the lever, and that's gonna cause wrist pain and reduce your grip strength. To find the ideal angle for you, sit on your motorcycle in your normal riding position and rest your middle and index finger on top of the levers. You should be able to draw a straight line from your elbow to your fingertips. If that's not the case, loosen the lever perches and rotate the levers up or more likely down to the appropriate angle for you. Having the proper lever angle makes it easier and more comfortable to operate the controls. That's especially important for the front brake, which you should be covering with one or more fingers at all times so you're ready to slow down in an instant. Next up is lever reach, which is largely determined by your hand size, but is also personal preference. For example, Zach and I wear the same size gloves, but I like the levers in close while he likes them farther out. Sometimes the brake or both levers will offer a dial or threaded adjuster so you can move the lever in or out. If not, you can still manipulate the clutch engagement point by adjusting the cable slack, or you can shift the entire lever assemblies in or out on the handlebar to change where your fingers fall on the lever. You might get better feel if your fingers rest right in the bend, or you can get more leverage and lever stroke if you pull closer to the end of the lever. Those are all just workarounds though, because the proper solution is to have adjustable levers. So while I said all of these mods and fixes would be free, if your bike doesn't allow you to change the reach to the clutch and brake lever, then you might want to invest in a set of aftermarket adjustable levers. The last bit of easy adjustment up in the cockpit is gonna be with the handlebar or the clip-on position for sport bikes. Consider rotating your handlebars forward if you feel like they're in your lap or rotate them back if they're too far away. A good default is in line with the fork legs, but that's not a rule, so feel free to experiment to see what works best for you. Keep in mind you'll likely need to readjust your lever and mirror angles after rotating the bars. For bikes with clip-ons, you can often swing the clip-ons in or out to suit your arm length and shoulder width. You just want to make sure that the bar end doesn't hit the fairing or the tank at full lock. Then there are your foot controls, namely your rear brake lever height and your shifter height. Where they should be positioned is determined by foot size, leg length and corresponding ankle angle, as well as personal preference. For the best comfort and quickest application, you want the rear brake lever right below the ball of your foot when you're sitting in your normal riding position. To change the height, loosen the lock nut and rotate the push rod. When you're done, make sure the rear brake light still activates properly and adjust the switch if needed. Finally, there's shifter height. If it's in the right position, you should be able to bang an upshift or a downshift with minimal ankle movement. To change where the tab is located, you can either loosen the lock nuts, one of which will be reverse thread, and then rotate the rod, or you can shift the entire arm on the spline shaft. For linkage systems like this, keep in mind that you're gonna to wanna to maintain close to a 90 degree angle between the rod and the arms for maximum leverage and throw, so you might have to juggle the spline position and the rod length in order to get the right setup. The difference between a bike feeling right and feeling awkward could be something as simple as the lever angle or the shifter height. So take a few minutes to adjust your bike's levers and your foot controls so your motorcycle fits you better. You're gonna be more comfortable so you can ride longer and you're gonna be more confident since your bike is going to be easier and more intuitive to control. And ultimately, those two things, comfort and control, are gonna make you a better rider. And if you ride a dirt bike, a dual sport, or an ADV, the same concepts apply. So make sure to check out the separate video we did for off-road so you can get your motorcycle set up to fit you. Thanks for watching this episode of the Shop Manual. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. And I gotta say, 
I enjoy it. It's a huge privilege to be able to teach people about motorcycles so they can understand them and work on them better. So if you like what we do here, you like the information we bring and the questions we answer, just know that the shop manual is produced with funds when people like you make a purchase at Revzilla. So if you want to support the shop manual, support Revzilla. And if you want more motorcycle content, you want written reviews and news, cruise on over to Common Tread where we are constantly publishing new content.